All right, I'm just gonna wing this one here. Um, this one's gonna be on caliber, and we're gonna make our own recipe. Well, that's what they call it, recipe. But basically, it's an RSS um, that you can rip and put it in your, you know, e-ink device or e-reader or whatever you're using. All right. So let's do this here. So caliber, they actually have, you know, uh, some by default in here in the fetch news. And you can subscribe to some of them, right? Like what they got here: Ars Technica, Arizona Daily Star, uh, and you can get like you know the local news or whatever it is, uh, whether it be from your blog that you like or your news place that you go to. The problem is, uh, you know, it, you know, all your favorite sites are not actually on here, uh, and you don't have to create your own. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create our own. Okay. And to do this, we, we're going to use a template that they already uh, have for us. So to do this, go into Add Custom New Source. And let's remove this here. But this is how you would do it, right? So click on Custom Built-in uh, Recipe. And the one I suggest you use is this thing called Science Daily um, as our template here, this one because uh, this is the cleanest one that uh, I know of so click on that click on here and I'm going to copy this code right this is Python code do you really need to know programming to do this uh, no I don't know anything about Python but you can actually edit this and it does work okay so let's copy that and then uh, let's close out of this close out of that uh, and now we're going to make a new file an empty file so empty file call it whatever you want since I'm going to use this thing called load kick or the blog is called load kick make sure it's in um, the extension recipe did I spell that right? oh the E there you go recipe right and let's open that and now we just paste in our code that we copy uh, to, you know, earlier and this is the code it's pretty simple right uh, the only important parts are mainly these right here. This is really the important part. Um, or maybe this whole thing here. This is uh, everything under here is the important part. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, open our blog here. And uh, first thing is, if you want to do a uh, title, or I mean not a title, I mean a cover image, you know use whatever the image that you, you want but I'm going to use this one right here and let's open a new tab so I want to use this logo for our cover page alright so pretty much right here the cover URL paste that sucker in do you have to do this? no uh, Calibre has a, a one by default if you have no covers they'll just use their default stock one alright um, other things is the feed. Uh, pretty much, you have to look for the RSS feed, right? So to do that on this page here, uh, usually it's a big orange button, but this one doesn't have it. So either you look for RSS or feeds, and you have the RSS here. And like I said, the orange button they usually have this, but uh, for this side they didn't show that. But here it is. This is the feed here. And you know all the articles here uses the same template. The only thing that's different is the story. Okay. Um, <clears throat> doesn't matter if it's like they give you the full article or the short article or a snippet. Doesn't really matter because this uh, Python code that we're gonna use is gonna go into each individual feed and it's gonna rip out just the uh, portion that we want for our uh, you know e-reader devices. So let's open the first one and we're gonna try to uh, see which parts that we want to use, right? Oh no, wait, we forgot to copy uh, our feed here. Copy address and let's go here and we're gonna paste this sucker uh, here. So copy and paste your RSS and let's change this to the proper title, a low kick, right? and that's it that's those are the two simple parts that you do here is just the links of it now in here this is the the, the really important part here uh, this is the parts that will tell us 
where the article begins and where the article stops. Okay, so the the keep tags, uh, I'm gonna do that right now. So we open a uh, article here. So this is the article, and uh, what you want to do if you have Chrome, Chromium, or Firefox, right click on the page and you have this thing called inspect element, and uh, let me make this bigger as you guys can see. In uh, Chrome, is kind of stupid. This is how you would actually, uh, you know, change the stupid fonts. Where the hell is that at? It's a source code or source code. Source code. What the hell? Let me see. Do it again. Inspect element. Did I miss it? There you go, source code, and then this thing here. I hate changing fonts on this thing, but let's say 16. Change the fonts to 16. So it's a little bit bigger now. You can see it now, right? Uh, so what you're going to do with this, and let me make this one smaller because you can see here. What we want to grab is just this whole portion here only, all right? We don't want this stupid thing on the side or the comments or anything. Just the article itself. So this is the article here. And to do that, we're gonna use this um, magnifier glass here, I guess. And click on that sucker. What the hell is it? This thing is okay, but let's see if it's better. Um, if there's a better one that you can do. Uh, that one is pretty close. Okay, that's that's the one, all right. Uh, so he grabs this this whole part here, all right, for our article, and you can see if I hover over this one, it uh, tells me that's the one that I'm at right here, right. So what we're gonna do is use this. You see, it says uh, dive class uh, news item big. That's all you gotta remember. Uh, and to do that, let's put this one up, make this one a little bit bigger, all right. Go down here to the tags uh, that we want to keep, and we're gonna type in uh, the first thing here, dive, and it already has class for us, so we don't have to type it again. And the last part is it's called news uh, item, and then big, right? Exactly how they have it in here, and that's all you gotta type in there. Since that's the only tag that we want to keep, we don't we don't need any extra ones, so we just delete that one here. And we want to say where do you want uh, you know the code to stop at. So I usually go to the next class one, uh, but this is not it one. This is not it because you can see that it's that part. That's not the one we want. This part. Okay, here we go. Where is this one at? So this part. I will stop it right here at this social network part. Let's make this a little bit bigger. You can see. So stop it right here, okay. So this is the code that we want to uh, get here. So I say I want to stop it at uh, uh, dive um, class, and this one says uh, show what is that social area. So social area. Now it says stops it here, but it actually includes this one also. So right here where it says the remove tag, we want it to stop it there, but not include. Uh, this stupid part uh, also. So we want to say dive class again. It's kind of like in math where you say uh, greater or equal, uh, no, wait, uh, greater or not equal to zero or something like that. I forgot. But we don't want to include this uh, stupid box within our uh, feed that we're ripping. Okay. So there you go. Social, did I spell that right? There you go. Social area. And if you have any other um, tags that you want to remove, let's say there's an add inside in here uh, that you want to remove also. Uh, for example, let's say if I want to remove this image. Uh, well, that's not a good example, though, but maybe like, uh, you know, if the thing includes this, this whole comment or whatever, then you just add that one in here to the next line uh, and it will remove it, okay? 
but since we only want to remove the uh, social area part uh, in our article that's all we really got to do so let's save that and if you want to do any other stuff uh, within here like um, you know a description if you want uh, I don't know we'll call it MMA fighting um, UFC or whatever tags that you want to do this is really good if you're actually gonna share this recipe with the uh, caliber folks and they might actually include it in their program and that's a good thing the author uh, if you want to type it in you know let's say whatever your name is right uh, title again low kick and some other stuff you can do in here let me see here I think it's lowkick.com or something I'm not sure it doesn't really matter this is just like extra stuff that you want to do if you need to well you get the idea I want to stop it right here though for that part uh, all these other stuff right here just leave it alone you don't have to do anything uh, if it's in a different language I guess you put it into your language code right anyways uh, let's save this here and we're gonna test this one out okay I'm gonna test it out so we have our uh, code uh, recipe here and open a new terminal and I'm gonna type in I'm gonna use ebook convert if you see my video on that then you know how this one works but ebook convert low kick dot recipe uh, we want to output into an EPUB and we're just gonna do tests because we don't want like you know the whole uh, the whole feed we just want like uh, testing and it's just gonna grab two feed only okay so dash dash test and uh, it's gonna create an EPUB for us in a minute here so this is our file that I just created and let's open this uh, so you see the image is really big here you have to scale it down I'll show you that in a minute but let's go on to the next thing <clears throat> you see that um, you know the articles that it grabs here like just two for our sample here so you click on it uh, it, it grabs the articles and it does not include that social network part that you know the Twitter and everything right because we got rid of that uh, portion and there you go this is how it will work uh, for all the ads or all the other feeds are that uh, comes from that site now so that's how that works now let's go back and fix that uh, what was it uh, the cover right it was too big and the cover let's go back to what was it here this thing uh, you want to know the size here. This says 256.49. That's the the length and the width here. So uh, the code for this, which I actually um, have right here. So what you're gonna do? Whoops, not here. Under the cover uh, URL, you want to type in this thing: cover margins equals and uh, you know what's this one right here? 256 and 49 here right since this is the image uh, length and width right so there you go uh, and then you, I gotta do that and then save it let's try it again let's see if it uh, comes out right uh, terminal and let's do that there you go that's it and so open this and there you go you have the low kick uh, logo um, properly sized I, I believe I'm not sure but play around with that if, if you want to have a proportional logo <laughs> up to you and I think that's pretty much it if you want to load this back into your uh, caliber program uh, just open caliber again all right, and all you gotta do in here in your fetch news is uh, let me see, go to add custom source, and where's it at? Oh yeah, there you go. Load recipe from file, and here you just um, you know pick the recipe that you want. 
open and there you go you have your recipe and you can use this uh, to you know load up to your e-reader devices alright so let's say for example um, what was it here go close yes and now we go to our schedule where the hell is the schedule there you go schedule and then we'll do a custom we have low kick here and we don't want to put this to whatever the whole day or something deleted it maybe after seven days All right save and now it's fetching our low kick uh, news here let's see um, how it looks like for reals um, wait for it to finish there you go that's it it's done and let's open this see how it looks like this is the, the image looks kinda crappy from here and here's the low kick and now it has all the articles not just the testing anymore right so here we go and go to the next one and the next article and the next article right there you go so you guys get the idea now Let's go back to the main menu Right, it shows us all the feeds in the last seven days, I believe. Uh, or how many days is this? Or well, last Tuesday. All right. Uh, so that's how that works. If you want to create your own, go ahead uh, using Python recipe uh, with Calibre. That's it for this one. Pretty long. Sorry.